Christ is coming. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, get it together here. I had a visitation, an open-eyed vision that lasted for about an hour. The Lord showed me a lot of what's to come. He told me to do two videos. He said, I want you to separate it and don't do it all at once. So I'll give you part one and part two. But I'm going to give you the last of it first because it was holy. The first of it was about the economy and uh, what's coming. More about what's coming financially for, for, for you people. Uh, and and then the last of it was, was his heart is it, uh, a cry for the lost. So I'm going to start with it there. In this vision, I saw the sun going down. And the Spirit of the Lord said to me, he said, Brandon, the sun is setting on, on, on this dispensation of time. He said, Every, everything that humanity has been, this part of it is coming to an end. The dispensation of grace is coming to an end. And we're going, you're going to go, they're going into the tribulation. The tribulation is about to begin. And I saw the sun going down, and, but there was no time. Everything was, 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 was timeless. It was just a total peace. I could see the beautiful colors coming through and everything was so beautiful. And then all of a sudden Jesus stood there and he had this beautiful robe on. I've never seen him wear it before in any visitation that I've had. It was beautiful. It had a, a white thread that was perfect right here and it went into another kind of like he had a garment underneath it, but he had a robe on top of it and it was a hood. It had white around the top and it was it was uh it was all kinds of different like embroideries like colors from like I've never seen before. Like tapestry, you know? It looked like tapestry. And um he had a huge wooden staff in his right hand, real thick looking staff. And he and and his face had so much compassion. And all of a sudden I heard him say, he said, one last call. I'm calling my sheep. I'm coming. I'm coming. One last call, he said, out of his mouth. And it sounded like a horn blowing throughout this valley. And I looked upon this valley and there was a valley of sheep all on this green pasture. But half of it was green, but half of it was dark. And all of these sheep that were, were, were the closest to him, because he was upon a hill and the sun was setting on time. The, the sun was setting and it was, it was coming to an end. Everything that we've known, everything we've ever, we've ever had as humanity from the beginning when Adam and Eve all the way to where we are right now. He said, the sun is setting on time. And he said to me, he said, Brandon, he said, one last call. He yelled it. And all of a sudden down that valley, the sun started to shine upon the sheep. There was heavy sheep with big, big fur. There was skinny sheep that looked like they had been sheared. And they were completely no fur. They were just bald looking sheep. And they were grazing upon this grass. And all of a sudden they looked to him, the sheep did, and they started to bah, bah, bah. And they started to run to the father. And he was waiting on them. The heavy sheep was running, but I, it was interesting because I could see their legs and they were almost like a, at a trot, like as fast as you could a gallop, like you're galloping, trying to get to the father. Some of the sheep were waddling. They were waddling because they were heavier than others. Some sheep were, were, were like barely moving. They were barely trying to get there. They looked like they were having a hard time, but they were, they were on their way. And I could see the ones behind. His face was like, he was not, he was like longing I don't want to use words, that, 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 but it was like he was distressed. Like the Lord could see them, but they weren't watching. They had gray fur and they had black on them. The sheep that were behind here, they were in the darkness. And they were, there was grass and they were eating, but they never heard him call. One last call. They weren't paying attention. They just kept eating. Time was running out and they didn't even know it. Those sheep were, were, were covered in like a soot. They were covered in black. And they were all grazing upon the land. But, 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 and I just kept watching. I just kept watching his face and he kept looking. And he was looking to see if they were going to hear him as he's calling. Because we're running out of time. We're running out of time. Humanity as we know it is coming to an end. 
Humanity, as, 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 as it's been for the last 6,000 years before we go into the millennial reign, we're fixing to go into, we're going to go into the tribulation. And that's what he was trying to tell everybody, was that there was one last call, one last harvest, one last push. And I told you all this before, that, that the bells will ring in the church one more time to sound the alarm of his coming. Now he's giving me this. He come to me personally and he told me to tell you that there's one last call. If you, you're living on the edge and you, you're not living for Jesus, that, that, that boat, is your boat ready? Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? Are your, is your heart ready for the coming of your King? If you're not and you're riding the fence, you better get your heart right before him because you're about to miss the boat.